Talking about Florida recruiting, yes. you have recruited the state of Florida for quite some time. Do you know about how many years you've been going down there? Uh, about 23 years since I've been uh, every year since I've been here. Yeah, and at Georgia Southern, so right. probably 27 years. Is that how it evolved? You had done Florida for Georgia Southern, so when you came here, Coach Johnson yes. said you just yep. stay in Florida. Yeah, he gave me the entire state at that time. I had the whole state at that time, and now obviously I got, a, I got that I got seems a, impossible. Got a nice chunk of it now, but um, yeah, it's very impossible. But um, you just got to work. You got to you got to pound the pavement and uh, find all the gyms. So what areas are you focused on now? West Coast, East Coast, anywhere in particular? I have North and Central. Okay, um, so Jackson, you're doing Orlando. Jacksonville, down to Bavaria County, which is Melbourne, then over to over to Orlando, then kind of back up to the Ocala area. Right, yeah. so like Luke Pierce from Ponte Vedra. Yes, that's my area. Guys. Yes, it, right. yes, indeed. And, um, you know, Sean Shun White was from yep. Palm yep. Coast. That's you. Yep, back at Palm Coast, exactly. So can you talk about the massive amount of talent that's in Florida? Well, you know, it's... It's a warm weather. That's 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 probably the main thing. Kids are outside year round. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's uh, no being stuck indoors during the winter. So they're out there playing playing ball every day. So that's part of it. But again, it's just a you know a lot of people. You know, and with a huge population is always you know a lot of talent. So a lot of speed down there. Good kids, um, good people, and uh, I've I've enjoyed it so much that I actually bought a condo down there that I've had for about ten years. So where it's, is it? It's my second Cocoa Beach. It's okay, my second. Yeah. My, well, Cape Canaveral is my second second home. That's awesome. That's yep. awesome. <laughs> and do you feel like you've gotten to know a lot of coaches? I mean, you built a lot of ties, relationships down there. Exactly. I've been there for a long time. You know, a lot of coaches that they have changed a lot down there, but um, the majority of guys are still around. You know, and it's good to go places where um, where people know you. Mm -hmm. um, now, oh, yeah. instead of going to the front office, I, I can go around the back now to, mm -hmm. to get to the coach's office. So it's a good deal. But um, I've, I've always enjoyed it. Great kids down there. Again, a lot of talent. And it's my job you know, for my area to go down there and, uh, again, find, find the diamonds, on the, the diamonds, you know, and uh, bring them here. Well, that's the thing. I mean, Florida is very heavily recruited. Every mm -hmm. freaking mm -hmm. program in the nation is down yes. there. You got Miami, Florida, and Florida State alone mm -hmm. within the league. I mean, or Central Florida. I mean, there's yep. so many schools in the state that mm -hmm. want to recruit the state. And then you got everybody coming in, you know, Auburn, Alabama. Everybody's recruiting Florida. Yes. So you got to be able to find your niche. Exactly. And, and for me, again, it's, I wouldn't say it's easy, but I know where to go. Um, certain schools, I, I know they have players for me. Also, and we have recruiters that, that we use, recruiting service that we use that, that help us. But the, for me, the main deal is, is just know my area so well. Mm -hmm. being, being there so long and knowing where to go and um, finding the OKGs, you know, the our kind of guys. Right. And that, that's what we look for, kids who fit our program, fit our culture, um, high character kids, but also good football players and especially great students. Well, so, and it seems to me that you've really had success at going into some of these smaller private schools. Mm -hmm. like. Diego was from a little Christian school, if yes. I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. Brandon Chapman mm -hmm. was from a smaller yeah. Christian school. Yes. So there's schools there that have talent that might, like I'm sure the Auburns and Alabamas are mm -hmm. going to the big 4A, yep. you know, 6A championship yes. schools, the ones that are winning state championships because they yes. got all this big time talent. Yes. That's key, huh? It is, but but for us, again, it's, it's just about finding, finding our niche and uh, finding kids who fit our program. Now again, you're gonna have the smaller schools, but there's always talent. There's talent everywhere, and um, and for us, it's not about you know going somewhere and saying, hey, there's not a kid here, I'm going to go here. But for us, it's like you know what, let me check by this school just in case. And you go by there, and there is a kid there that can play for you. So mm -hmm. there's been a handful of those guys that that we have found. That's what it comes down to, you know, um, making sure that you cover every all your bases, try to get to every school you can, um, call every coach you can. And now with the recruiting services, it's so much easier now to recruit because the video is right there for you. There's no mm -hmm. more VHS tapes put in the mail. It's just so much easier now, you know, with all the technology. So it's been pretty easy. But again, it's our job to go down and uh, do our job and find good players. So it used to be that for your area, you had Central Florida. You could tell kids, hey, we're going to play Central Florida. I mean, yes. you don't have that anymore, but now you got Florida Atlantic, mm -hmm. which is part of your area. Do you sell that? Absolutely. You know, not only do, do we sell our product, which we have here, you know, great school, great program, um, education, you know, guaranteed job when you graduate, you know, so, but also being able to come back home and play in front of your family and play in front of friends, but also play against guys you played against in high school. Right. It's a huge sale, you know, and, uh, and kids eat that up, you right. know, and, and they love that. So it's definitely a part of it. And, and again, you, you, just, you just sell your school and uh, sell your opportunities and, uh, and real, try to reel those guys in. Brent, you're assigned to Florida. That's a huge area. You played in Georgia, so yep. you know you know the South. Yep. Why do you think the coaching staff, aside, you know, Coach Newberry, said you go down to Florida? Uh, well, a little, a little bit. Uh, 
Prior to coming here, I actually had a little bit of experience as a grad assistant. Uh, helping, going down there? Well, not necessarily going down there, but uh, the coaches that I that I was a GA with, uh, he was assigned to Florida uh, oh, okay. when I was at Alabama. So uh, I have a little, little experience down there uh, recruiting Florida. And so you're primarily doing the Tampa area, the so, West yep, Coast? Yep. So I have uh, everything from Polk County on, on below, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. So uh, right, right, excuse me, right below Orlando. Now all the way down to Miami. Right. So obviously a lot of good football down there. Yep. I mean, probably a plethora of talent that you can. It's almost so much talent that it's hard to sort through, isn't it? Uh, not necessarily. Um, sometimes you, we we have our niche, right? And you know the guys that you have to go get. Uh, you know the criteria that that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you come through that. Uh, the guys kind of stick out, and, and we go for it. So, you know, a guy like Kendall Whiteside, you yep. know, he's from the Tampa area. Yep. I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm going to ask him here in a minute if he was recruited by, you know, did South Florida come and try to get you? And so, but how do you find a guy like that? Because he's pretty talented, a big boy, two sport athlete in yep. high school. Yep. Well, I'm, like I said, uh, all the criteria is there, right? So, is he smart? Is he tough? Does he love football? And is he a good athlete, right? And when all those align, well, you go after him, right? right? And then once you once you do that, you recruit him. Show him what we have here, and it's hard to turn this down, you know. So mm -hmm. that's how you go after that. So in the time that you've been doing far, do you still feel like you're starting to build some good connections? Because that's kind of the key is that you go down there and they're like, hey, Coach, I think I might have got a Navy type boy for Absolutely. you over here. Absolutely. And that's one thing you, you love about Florida. You know what I mean? The coaches are always texting you, they're calling you, uh, they're reaching out. So uh, it's, it, they make it easy to, to build that connection and that, that, that relationship. So obviously, I mean, Florida's a big football state like a Texas, like a California. Yep. Um, like a Georgia. All right. I'm from Georgia. But, uh, I mean, do you feel like you get a certain – I mean, the guys from Florida that played here at Navy have an, an attitude. 100%. They, they have a confidence. Yep. And that's that's why you love Florida. You know, th those guys, they played football from when they were yay high, right, and they come up, uh, and, and that's what they do down there, right? They play football. Uh, they're all fast. Like I said, they're smart, and they're confident. And that's what we love about the Florida kids. you got to have confidence when you're playing the sport. So for your recruiting area, how big is it to be able to go play South Florida right there in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Stadium? Yep. I mean, when you're try to get some recruits to the game. I mean, that's huge sell for Navy. 100%. And, and that's what we sell as well is we have, well, potentially, you know, two or three games in your in your state every year. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So uh, so that's a huge sell for us, and hopefully we can get some guys over there. So will you go down? I know you all will be in town Friday night. Will you try to get around a little bit, or yep. is that? Yeah, I, I actually will. Uh, I'll leave and go down, uh, be down on Friday, uh, recruit a couple of places, and then uh, head over to the hotel with the team, and then go from there. Talk about Florida football. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you feel like it's something special to Florida football? Absolutely. There's a lot of great athletes that come from Florida. And uh, I think Coach Coach uh, Deion Sanders said, like, they got the best athletes. And I think it's true. Like, high school football there is legit. Uh, it's not as, like, big in terms of, like, fans and stuff as, like, Texas and Georgia. But I was just going to say, there's got to be some back and forth stuff with the Texas guys. On this 100%. There is. Um, but, I mean, I, I say the best athletes come from Florida. It's pretty obvious, so. So, Pontra Vedra, I mean, your high school was a pretty good program. Mm -hmm. Did you have a strong program? Did you advance at the state level? How good was your, your high school's team? Um, we had good athletics. Our football team wasn't very good my junior and senior year, but uh, we competed. I think we ended up, like, like um, even, if, I, if, I, if I'm correct. But, I mean, we what played tough. What class level are you on? 7A. That's so. the highest? There's 8A. So, 8A, okay, so I mean, second highest. Yeah, big there's school. Big school for sure. Um, good competition week in, week out. So, I mean, it prepared me a lot for this level. So, did Florida schools recruit you? I mean, they're, you're, you're in the American Athletic Conference. There mm -hmm. was Central Florida in the American Athletic Conference, yep. no longer. South Florida, yep. Florida Atlantic, is yep. right near your home, pretty yep. not too far away. Uh, uh, did any recruit schools recruit you? Honestly, not, not many out of Florida. Um, they're, they didn't really look at me, and I mean, I kind of take that personal and in going into this week, but mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's, it's nothing against them, uh, but yeah, they didn't really recruit me much. Your brothers played at Mercer. Did they recruit you? Yep. Yeah, they did. That's where obviously Coach Chronic was before here. Um, mm -hmm. They recruited me a little bit, but I kind of wanted to expand that and because uh, my two older brothers went to Mercer, so I kind of wanted to, to break that trend. Do something different. Exactly. Be your own man. Yep. So what led, what led you to Navy? I mean, Coach Jasper recruited your area. Mm -hmm. She shows up one day and 
Hey, Luke Pierce, I'm with the Naval Academy. Yep, yeah, Coach Jasper does a really good job of just being a, he's a personal uh, human. I mean, he's like very easy to interact with and I got along well with him. And then he got me to come up here for a visit. And I loved it, loved mm -hmm. coaches, coaching staff, loved the place. Um, it, it was a perfect fit for me, so that's why I came here. So how cool is it? I know South Florida's the entire, you know, different area of the state, mm -hmm. but it's still Florida. You're going to have a good amount of family go to, yep. what is it, two and a half hours across, three? Uh, I think it's a little over three, but also have a good amount of family there. I have a... Uh, oh, you my, have family in the Tampa area? Yes, I do. My grandma and my uncle live there, so they'll oh. be at the game. And then uh, family and friends are driving down for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, got a couple friends who go to school around there, so they'll be at the game. Well, and I was going to ask you, so any guys from your high school that you were friends with or maybe Maybe guys that you played against in high school play for South Florida by chance? Um, I think there's a couple that were around the, in the Jacksonville area that went to USF. Um, I'm not too good of friends with them, but I'll, I'll say what's up to them uh, mm. before the game. But you, rec they, you recognize the name? Yep, definitely. Right. But pretty cool to go back home and play again. 100%. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, it's. Uh, I love Florida. I'm probably going to try to move down there as soon as possible after mm -hmm. I'm done with my service here. But uh, yeah, it's it's a great location. Uh, it's going to be a great environment in the Buck Stadium. I'm excited for it. So, um, and what are you a Jaguars fan? I am unfortunately a Jaguars I was fan. Say, yeah, it must be very difficult. Road to hoe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we won't spend too much time on that, but I know you're a really good high school basketball player. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to somebody who knows basketball. It might have been Deshaun Peel, and they said that you would be like their number one draft pick to pick up basketball. <laughs> but Kendall Whiteside played basketball in high school too. He's a pretty big boy. I don't. Yeah. Can you, can you you can't body up with that. Can you? He's he's light on his feet, and uh, he's someone you don't want to get in the post with. He's a he's a big body for sure. Post score. So you take him outside. Yeah. Drive around. Yeah, I won't let him get get near the paint I'll be <laughs> fine <laughs> I mean I know that around here at the Naval Academy on the football team there's a lot of talking back and forth between the Texas guys the Florida <laughs> guys maybe the Georgia California why do you think Florida football is so good uh Florida football is so good I mean honestly we're just tougher than those other guys you know they co they go down there they complain about the weather they complain about the humidity we got it all and we're here we're tougher than them so, um, you know, Navy has been, been in Florida for quite some time. It's a key state for them, especially when you're in the American Athletic Conference. You've got South Florida, we used to have Central Florida, now Florida Atlantic. But you want to be able to recruit there. Kind of talk about how you got involved with Navy. Uh, I kind of got involved with Navy by um, another person they recruited um, at my school. And then um, when, they, when they came there, I was able to talk to them. Who and was it? Did they end up going to Navy? Yes, they ended up going to Navy, but uh, transferring out. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, that just that word of mouth and uh, being able to talk to the recruiter, uh, that kind of got me in the door. Mm -hmm. And then uh, finding more, out more about Navy, quickly realized it was a place that I wanted to be. So got involved quickly and, you know, made this Who was recruiting the Tampa area at that time? At that time, it was uh, Coach O'Rourke. Coach O'Rourke, right. Yeah. So, um, you know, who else recruited you? Who kind of, what it would, if you, the Navy hadn't come in and gotten a chance to play at this Division One level at the American Athletic Conference, where do you think you might have ended up? Um, other schools that I had offers from, uh, UTM, uh, FIU, um, University of West Florida, talking to UCF. Uh, so Florida schools, nothing but uh, realized Navy was the place to be. You know, a whole lot more to offer other than just football. The fact that Navy was going to play South Florida regularly and get down there, did that have some a factor for you? Uh, definitely. You know, um, USF wasn't a school that recruited me, not even a little bit. So um, being able to play them is definitely a huge opportunity to go and punch them in the mouth and realize, you know, this is a homebred boy that you messed up on. Did a lot of your guys either on your high school team or guys that you play against, are there any of them playing at South Florida? You know some guys on that team? No, none, none of the guys that I know, most of the guys in my area, especially at that time, USF made it a point that they were recruiting in the Tampa area. Really? So, um, huh. yes. That seems rather odd. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you would think, uh, you know, that's the perfect thing is to right. recruit in the Tampa area, you know, get some of those good Florida boys. But, you know, at the time there wasn't something that they were looking in and, you know. So um, how big is it for you to go down there and play this weekend? Honestly, it's huge. It's, it, I'm, the emotions I have for it, it can't be put into words. You know, being able to go down there, go home, and play in front of friends, family, like people who haven't been able to travel and see some of these farther away games, it's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be electric. How many people do you think will be there for you? More, more than I can count. My 20 plus? 20 plus for sure. My, it got to the point where uh, my mom just said, get as many tickets as you can, and I'm just – Divvying them up. Start handing them out. Right? Yes, sir. 
fan? Were you a Bucks fan? Yes, sir. Right. So, what, how cool to play in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers stadium? Amazing. You know, uh, watched a million Bucks games. You know, been to the stadium, watched from the stands. You know, been on the sideline and seeing teams play. So, being able to play there, it's like a dream come true for sure. So, um, you know. One of the things I was talking to Coach Jasper about, I mean, everybody's recruiting Florida. Every major school comes in there. And, of course, they're going after the big schools that are competing for the state championships that are loaded. Navy's done really well with some of the smaller private schools. Uh, yourself, uh, Brandon Chapman was from a smaller private school. Mm -hmm. uh, Diego Fago, the former inside linebacker, was from a smaller private school. Can you talk about that? It, I think there's some hidden gems in Florida, if you will. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean... There's hidden gems everywhere, you know, Florida, big football state. Um, there are definitely some hidden gems, and I think the coaches and the Navy uh, staff has done a great job pulling out some of those hidden gems and showing that they have the ability to play at a high level and um, getting them on the field and showing that. So there's a lot of Florida guys on the team, but like you, Chapman's from the Fort Lauderdale area. Paris is from up there north near Jacksonville. So it, they're not necessarily from where you're from, but do you still bond as Florida guys? Oh, most definitely. The the Florida boys stick together for sure. That that bond runs very deep, you know. Uh, just like every other state in the locker room, you kind of got your guys, but those Florida boys were strong, and we have numbers in there, so they don't really mess with us a lot.